In today's video, we are going to uh, remodel my kitchen. That means we are going to be organizing and also just packaging some of this stuff. I am going to also DIY a pantry, which I'll be arranging my spices and my spice cans that I got recently. So welcome to today's video and let's just get it started. I hope you will love and enjoy this transformation and I hope that it encourages you to tackle your own spaces that you have been neglecting. So that is uh, this container. I'm gonna be kicking off this makeover by cleaning my entire kitchen. I am going to remove my dishes outside and that is when I will just go ahead and wash them. And in the meantime, I'm going ahead to wipe down the counters and make it easier for me so that I can be able to organize around.
I'm going ahead to remove my curtains and my windows were also quite dirty. I went ahead and wiped them up and later on you'll see me re returning back the curtains and after washing them up. I got these leather straps from Karyoko Market. Very, very affordable. You can easily go and check them. Uh, they are being sold there at an affordable price. Also, I just DIY'd that counter that shelf i mean it is very very simple just uh finish up with the straps and also just add a piece of wood and on that case you just f uh, have yourself uh, a shelf which can you know like for me this is what i'm planning to use as my pantry because i uh on my spice just because my current kitchen is so so tiny i mean there's no space anywhere so i have to utilize especially uh all the spaces that i have so Right now, my kitchen is almost clean, and we'll just go ahead to organize our uh, our ingredients, especially the spices. I've been using my salt from the paper, and it does it just doesn't add up. So right now, I'm just going ahead to clean up my my pantry shelf, and this is where we'll be organizing most of the stuff. I hope, guys, you are loving this video. Please do remember to give this video a thumbs up if you are watching up to this point. I have already cleaned up these uh, containers that I'm going to store uh, our foods inside and as you can see guys this drawer I have my food that I usually buy uh, so right now I'm just going to package the flour also the rice and some of the cereals.
As for my spice cans, I got them at odds and ends in Mombasa Road. Very, very affordable. And you can as well go get yourself some. Also, I got some oil uh, dispenser. And these are all my spice cans. And yeah, I got some spices. And let's just go and refill them up. And also, I went to the cyber and... I had them custom made the names of the spices that I had and I'll just be going ahead to attach them to the spice cans and these made it look aesthetically pleasing. I was in love with every single transformation that I did on this day. So guys, I hope that you are being motivated also to tackle your spaces because as for me, I've been living in this house for almost five months. Yeah, it's five months now, but guys, believe me, you, I have been using spices just on papers and it just doesn't add up. It feels as if it doesn't even, it doesn't make any sense to use spices on papers while I have this one. So I decided, okay, why not? And yes, guys, I felt amazing after doing this transformation. I hope that you are loving this video up to this point. And allow me to remind you guys to subscribe to this channel and also to like this video and share it with your friends and family. Okay guys, uh, one thing about these spice jars, they are not only beautiful, they are also uh, airtight which means that your spices are not going to lose their scent and they are also going to preserve it for much longer. In the meantime, guys, I would love to introduce one of my fellow YouTubers here in Kenya. She does cooking, amazing, amazing cooking videos. Her name is Mary MK, and I'm just going to be linking her YouTube channel here. And before we go any further, I would love you to check her out and also subscribe, watch her videos, comment down, and let her know that I sent you there. And guys, also, I love, love, love promoting uh, small YouTubers. You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram, and let's just communicate on business matters there. And yes, let's just check her out and subscribe. Please do remember to like her videos as well. If you are always lacking motivation to cook your own food, I mean, this is the place to be. You will learn a lot of recipes, a lot of cooking and get motivated even to know uh, cooking skills. I am sure you will love it. Please do remember to check her out, guys. I'll be linking her her youtube channel in my comments section and i would really hi i would highly appreciate if you visit and yeah let's learn how to cook together i don't want to leave anyone behind artificial love we just make it up because reality will never be good enough and even if it was we just mess it up because we already love to the right I never meant to fall All I wanted was a touch Of artificial love We just make it up Cause reality Will never be good enough And even if it was We just mess it up Artificial love Artificial love Artificial love, we just make it up Cause reality will never be good enough And even if it was, we just mess it up Cause we already lost I took you to the rush I never meant to fall All I wanted was a touch Cause we already lost I took you to the rush Artificial love Artificial love We just make it up Cause reality Will never be good enough And even if it was We just mess it up How can you know What's in our mind When in between The good and bad such a thin line, how can you know what's in a heart? When often hate motivates and life takes you apart. 
Feel you getting lost, the feel you trailing off. Feel it in your words when you say there's nothing wrong. There's something so subliminal. About the way that your hands shake whenever you talk. You stare into space like you're lost in your thoughts, surrounded by your paper walls. Tell me what's been going on. Myself. Never took time to listen. Like you you. Couldn't see that you were going through hell. Now you're cold and distant. You say you're fine, but your heart is bleeding. Feed me those lines. Go ahead and screenshot this uh, insecticide. It really, really does magic. Uh, it removes all the cockroaches away, and that's what I use because we tend to have like tiny, tiny cockroaches, which are not amazing. So right now I'm done with cleaning the entire kitchen and I'll be giving you the house tour tomorrow.
Hey guys and good evening. Welcome to my channel. It's 4 p.m. I was currently doing some cleaning and my kitchen is that clean as you can see. So yes guys, I've been doing some cleaning. I have like washed this kitchen and also washed the dishes. So guys, right now I want to put in my curtains. As you can see, I cleaned the curtains as you have seen in the vlog. Also, I'm just going to put them up and then we are just going to do like a mini kitchen tour yeah and just end this vlog from here i believe i have taken you throughout this process and i believe that you are motivated to also tackle on your own tackle your own spaces yeah so let's just put on our curtains and move on i don't even believe like i can be a kitchen set to go so guys let's do a kitchen tour before we end this video Loves, we are starting with this cupboard. I have just organized here my pantry. I have wheat flour, maize flour, sugar, rice, and some uji flour over there. And that is all I have in this pantry. Guys, I will start by advantages of having a small kitchen. It makes you have little things. I threw most of the things. I don't want stuff that will pile up my kitchen and make it crampy. So, yeah, that is all I have. And here I've organized my pots, the ones that I love, and I just love looking at them. So that is all to this kitchen, to that pantry. So over here I have placed my soya because my mom-in-law loves soya, so I have to have it. I have also my mustard and some of the spices that I don't use a lot so yeah that's it and that shelf i'm planning to mount it on my wall i'll be probably mounting it here but that will take some time anyway guys that is the view of this look again guys these are my curtains i got them from isili at a very very affordable price i decided them to be black i wanted them to be black at the edges because it gets dirty easier and that one makes it aesthetically pleasing to me and they are, whenever they get that like they don't show it as often for my spices guys these are all the spices that i have i have like curry powder beef masala chicken powder i also have black pepper mixed spices coriander i also have turmeric and some some of those yeah those are my all spices and i have organized them in this shelf this shelf is custom made i've just used a team some piece of wood and also i have mounted it with these traps of leather which i got from karyoko at a very very affordable price you can easily go get that for yourself so that is the view of my spices I'm glad I was able to buy this, uh, these containers. Uh, these containers, I got them from uh, Odds and Ends, Mombasa Road, and they were so, so affordable. Affordable as you can never imagine. I think one was cost, I think for six, they were costing like 1200 or maybe 600 I don't remember well, but that is it. This is the overview of my outside kitchen. Uh, that is the overview of my, I mean, my window on the outside as you can see it is so large and then it allows more lighting to come into the space and that makes it as efficient as possible and so guys this is my only counter space when i talk of my only counter space i mean i love this kitchen because it is so tiny you will not have space to store more trash so i think these are the only things that i use i use maybe tea leaves coffee and also i use oil vinegar and some soy sauce those are the only things that i have on this shelf uh, on this uh tray this tray is just from here and i just decided of you making use of it and it just holds those spices that are the one that i use regularly easily yeah we also have some salt there and yeah guys i really really love the aesthetics of that it makes it like it makes it look as if it was custom made for it but guys i promise you it is something so small like a wood a piece of wood and guys here i'm having my 
my uh, kino and also here I have my muikos, the one that I use oftenly. Yep. And here, of course, I have a piece of plant that will make it as green as possible. I'm planning to introduce more plants in this shelves i'm planning to add more 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 plants because i want the greenery in this house so much my sink guys i promise you since i have lived in nairobi this is one of the best that i've ever had since 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 five years ago since i just started living alone yep and here guys i have forgotten i'm i mounted this this shelf i've been having this shelf for quite some time but i've never mounted it so i mounted it a couple of days ago and i've just hanged here my spoons my pants the ones i use regularly and that is it for my kitchen let me give you an overview of my kitchen guys and i hope that this video has gotten you motivated even to tackle your own spaces and finally guys i added this mat that will make me you know because i usually have some uh, foot problems i don't like a lot i don't love stepping on the tiles so this one will make it much easier when i'm cooking here on the stove this cooker i got it from i wish i had the number because guys i would have shared with you the number you can get it at an affordable price at sayona sayona apps as you can see sayona apps very very affordable guys i just decided to minimize my stuff in my house, I have minimized. I only have those pots. That's Jiko. And some of those things that I didn't want, I just threw them away. I don't want too much. Too much of something makes me even get anxious. Yeah. My pantry so far, very small. Very, very uh, beautiful, as you can see. But very, very affordable on a budget. Like, there's nothing there I spent, like, too much. Yeah, guys. And I hope I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye guys. I love you, love you, love you so much. And let me just leave you with this short clip of my overview kitchen makeover. I am grateful that you have watched. And thank you so much for being here and even staying tuned. I really, really do appreciate you. Please do remember to give this video a thumbs up. It really, really supports our channel. And bye bye. Mwah. Guys, don't get scared with that mopper because it gets spilly. I mean, my kitchen usually spills a lot because it is so tiny. I usually have this mopper here, but it is clean so that when it spills down, I will just wipe down easily and quickly. Yeah, that makes it that makes my work easier here in the kitchen. Yep, guys, I hope that you have loved this video so far. Let us go ahead and close up the kitchen. Don't mind this uh this uh this window i've i've placed my wi-fi and it's charging via this cable yeah let's close up these curtains very very pretty curtains and very very simple my dishes are clean at least for the first time because of this video honestly i cleaned them in the morning but today it has costed me to clean them like twice so that i can film this video Anyway, guys, I am so happy I did this for myself and also to make my work so much easier, so much pretty. And yep, 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 guys, I will see you on my next video. I just don't know which season is this because of flies.